like an exercise. This is creative exercise right here. If I started exercising in the this gym like this. This is more this. skin than you've ever shown at the gym. It is. This episode of TMI Weekly is brought to you by Only in a Woman's World. On the premiere episode, the resident single girl Nikki deals with the biggest heartbreak a girl can face. And I know a thing or two about heartbreak. But this is no boyfriend breakup. It's much bigger than that. Check it out on awomansworld.com. Hey, welcome to TMI Weekly, your source for life, tech, and style. Today's topic is creative exercise routine. So obviously going to the gym, getting on the treadmill, lifting some weights gets really old. So yeah. we have some good ideas how you can spice it up. My new favorite thing is boxing. Now this is not the boxing where you go to the gym and it's like duh, duh, kickboxing. I'm talking getting the wraps on, putting on gloves, sparring. Getting the wraps on? Yeah. Getting you, your wrap on? Yeah, you wrap your hands. In oh, gloves. I thought you were like, I have to listen and to rap go, music. No. You, actually wear, you actually wear gloves, right? Yes. It's not as expensive as you would think. Like the trainer that I've been going to see is $25 a session. I always cheat having like a trainer actually right. sit there and like, are you hitting it hard enough? Because I'm like, the little girl. Right. Think million dollar baby. That's the kind of gym that you're going to. And it's actually Do you wear a mouthpiece? Really cool. No, nobody's hitting you. Oh. No. Gonna punch your no. pretty face. Oh my goodness. A grill? Like, Do I get to wear a grill? If I get to wear a grill, then I'm so going cool to the yeah, boxing. Right? I saw um, on your blog the other day that you were, had some sort of trampoline thing going on. Oh yeah, what okay. Is what is that? So these classes are famous at Club H in the um, Upper West Side-ish area. There is this famous class there that a guy named Blake teaches and it's called Rebounding with Blake. And it's all these guys from the Broadway productions nearby. So you can oh, imagine wow. the class, right? And they're like, spandex, Let's go. spandex. No, it's amazing. Oh. You get on these little trampolines and you just bounce up and down to various different moves. I don't it's understand really how that's a workout though. I mean, just. You do jumping jacks and you do, you know, squat thrust things. I don't really know what they are. The point is I'm sweating by the end of it. I'm a big dancer. I used to like dance my whole, my whole life, like I guess. And musicals and whatnot, like tapping and stuff. So I found a tap class. It's called like Rapid Tap Tap. No, and it's they not. have like it's not called Rapid Tap Tap. <laughs> and it's awesome. And it's like literally all the older women that used to be in Broadway oh. shows or used to be like, you know, characters Look and plays. You with the musical people. I know, I'm I'm all about the musicals. So <laughs> that's awesome. Good at gyms with. <laughs> they are, they are. And then there's this also this new thing along the same lines as dancing. Um, it's called Fluidity and it's mm -hmm. a ballet bar. They have classes everywhere nationwide. Okay. And you can also buy the bar and actually like follow it at home. And is it just basic ballet? But it's yes, plies. it follows all of like the movements that ballerinas, but also like is focused on like toning the boute area. Ah, and uh, I need that. Get up and go and whatever you want to feel in between your legs, you feel in between your legs. There you go. There you go. Nine, Nine ten, ten, eleven, eleven. Keep going. Okay. I'm going to go grab us Twelve. some water. Ah, oh, thirteen. <sighs> <sighs> Woo, forty-two, forty-three. Good job. 44. You're almost there. Staying in shape can be deliciously fun. Try baked Lay's crisps with 65% less fat than regular potato chips. Find them in the chip aisle with other snacks made just for you. I love Samuel's suggestion. He says, I know it becomes cliche, but yoga is what keeps me going back to the gym. Great for mind and body. And then once he's done with the yoga, he really goes right into the cardio class because you feel so good after the yoga. You go into a cardio class and then after the cardio, you do like speed round weight training. <sighs> and it's so funny because this is exactly what I do in LA. Two hours every day. I want to see Samuel's body. So reader Eddie RB says, get out of the gym, get on a bike and ride. The thing I like about road cycling is that you can go somewhere. It's never doll. I've been meaning to buy a bike for the last year you because you can bike down up and down West Side Highway. But you're not going to bike on the street in New York, right? No, not on the street in New York. You could kill yourself. But you know he means like a road bike, not a cruiser. What he's saying is get on a road bike. You clip in like you do in spin class. It hurts class. my crotch. And here's the thing. It hurts yeah. your crotch and you have to lean over so oh, much No, more. you know what? I do anything that you do that's actually getting you moving. I mean, I don't think we should criticize it. No, I think get, get up and go and whatever you want to feel in between your legs, you feel in between your legs. There you go. There you go. We were all spinning the other day. 
actually. I know this isn't maybe very creative for some people, but for me, it's still a creative exercise class. But you were having Mary like sit there oh. and coach us through oh and talk gosh. about life while we're spinning on the bike. It was awesome. It was personal it was. pleasure for me to like be able to kick their asses without actually hitting them in any sort. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Working out is more than just physically, you know, doing the motions that you need to burn calories and burn yeah. fat. Like when they realize it's purging your mind, it's moving forward in your life, it's taking the strength that you find in the gym, those, those little obstacles that you overcome, you take that strength out in the world with you and you use it. You can so, tell that this girl yourself. loves her exercise. Yes. yes. She's, yes. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It is. She's, it is. she's an evangelist, really, more than anything else. And when you that's can true. find that either in your trainer or in your, you know, someone that you go to the gym with, that's a powerful thing. You should not give it up. Yeah, it's true. Okay, well, there are obviously things that we missed. If there's like a specific class yeah. or something or a teacher that you've found that's really taken a different approach to working out, let us know because we'll spread the word. Yeah. And um, Or if it's something that's outside the gym, like rock climbing or kayaking. Or hula God hooping. Knows. Hula hooping, hula exactly. Hooping. I've been meaning to get a hula hoop. Please email us at omg at tmiweekly.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. See ya. I love her arms. Like, I'm always She's ripped. When I'm at the gym, I'm like, Kelly Ripple arms. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of TMI Weekly is brought to you by Only in a Woman's World.